Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm a second year ECE PNP student here at University of Washington. I grew up in Redmond, but I went to school in Michigan and I'm back here for masters. I'm really excited to be here and I've been fortunate to be involved in research for the past two years throughout this master's program and I'm excited to share a little bit what I've been working on. So the project uh, is called Sinu Mask, stands for Smart Individualized Near Faced Extended Wear Mask. Um, basically what I've been part of is uh, incorporating the power supply section for that project, which is uh, powering DVD, um, dielectric barrier discharge. So basically uh, given two electrodes and a high frequency, high voltage differential between the two electrodes, it generates something called plasma or ionized air between the two. And uh, that can be used to filter air, uh, filter air like we do here. I was very fortunate to be part of the project since the beginning of a program actually. So I found out about this research uh, laboratory just online and through the school newsletter. And so I reached out to Professor Nemeshev and went through the process of applying. And I was involved in different projects in the beginning, but I've been working on this project for the past year. Our team was selected to be part of BARDA's Mask Innovation Challenge over the summer. So that was out of a thousand uh, teams we were placed in the top 10 finalists. And so we created about six different prototypes for that uh, testing and evaluation purposes. Currently we have about two. This is our older design. Uh, we have another one. We are currently working on refining the overall fitment of, of the 3D printed parts so that it's been more comfortable to wear um, and addresses the bulky solution uh, that is currently existing in other mask solutions. This was our uh, project goal for winter quarter. So currently uh, our goal for the miniature power supply is incorporating a microcontroller to replace certain mm -hmm. um, 5 to 5 timers or integrated circuits. Uh, and these are our operating voltages. Um, and so we've been working on transitioning from a purely hardware perspective to incorporating some aspects of, of software so that it makes the power supply a lot more uh, compact, more lightweight, as well as adjustable for different testing electrode configurations and um, yeah I think we've created a pretty good power supply and pretty good uh, product itself. It's just a matter of further prototyping and further making it more presentable so that it's ready for different competitions in the future. <laughs> so the Holloman Health Innovation Challenge is a yearly competition in which uh, different groups and different students come together to present their innovative solutions in the health industry and so uh, our solution is a mask air filtration mask uh, dedicated to medical workers as well as firefighters and other uh, people that are exposed to harmful particulates in the air in the long term. Each uh, project in the finalist category gets about uh, $2,000 in prototype funding. So we were fortunate to be part of that. I think we received a lot of good feedback regarding our business aspects of our pro project. And uh, we just got a lot of great interest in all in general. So um, it was a really good experience. I think I learned a lot from it. I think. Our team members learn wrong from it, so um, hopefully we can take what we learn and try to move forward from there. This new project, I think currently we have a electric design which is DC Corona, so it's using uh, a high voltage to power these two electrodes as shown here. Um, currently we're shifting to a dielectric barrier discharge uh, layout in which the electrodes are embedded in a dielectric material, so that makes it safe to touch uh, in case it com comes into contact with the with the user. Uh, next, we'll be incorporating a full perimeter mask. So right now we have the electrodes just on the bottom guard, but it, it doesn't block out any particulates that's coming through from the top here. So once we transition to a full perimeter, uh, it will be able to block out the particulates in a more effective manner. Um, so those are the two main goals that we have this coming year. I chose PMP because after undergrad, I realized that I still had a lot to learn and I wanted to stay in Seattle for uh, the time being. So I felt like the program here at UW uh, was also very industry focused, but I also could be involved in research, which is what I've um, been able to do for the past couple years. So I'm really fortunate to be here. Research has played a really big factor in my grad school experience. I'm also doing research and taking classes at the same time. So um, it's been a lot of learning both in class and outside of class. It's been a really fun experience just to work as a group uh, on this innovative new, new novel solution to uh, an existing problem. So I'm really happy to be part of it.